Waves have mathematical properties. Amplitude is the height of the wave, and it's measured from the center of the wave to the top. It can also be measured from the center of the wave to the bottom, and it's measured in meters. This impacts the volume of a sound, as a higher amplitude makes a louder sound. So which wave would you say is louder? Did you say wave B? Nice job. Of course it's louder, right? Because it has a higher amplitude and taller waves make louder sounds. Another thing we need to look at with waves are a few more definitions. The top of the wave is called the peak and the bottom of the wave is called the trough. And sometimes the peak is called the crest. They're just synonyms. So when we look at a wave, we want to um, look at the pattern from either peak to peak or trough to trough. And this is a thing called a wavelength, basically one full complete wave. And it's measured in meters, how long that wave is. The frequency then is how often the wave occurs within one second. And so if we look at a wave um, pattern for one second and count either how many peaks or how many troughs there are, then we can see here, this one is measured in hertz and this wave would be five hertz. Can you see it? As the hertz or the frequency increases, the beads are moving faster and faster because the wave is moving faster and faster. The next relationship that we need to understand is how frequency affects wavelength. So if we look here at the number of waves that we have in one second and the top, we can see that there are six hertz or six full waves in one second. If we count this one, do, 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 we can see that it is 15 hertz or 15 waves in one second. And so if we compare, we can see that when something has a lower frequency, the waves are longer. And when something has a higher frequency, the waves are shorter. And so when we're looking at the sound, let's see how these compare. So here we have 30 hertz and 130 hertz. And down at the bottom, we can see as the frequency gets greater, the waves get shorter. And so things with a low frequency have a low tone and long waves. Higher frequency has high tones because those low waves move slow and the fast waves move really fast, right? So higher frequencies have a higher sound and much shorter waves. So for our final thing about waves, let's go to the beach. And let's say you're standing there and you have these two different sets of waves coming at you. Which one's likely to knock you over? Of course, the big or tall waves would be more likely to knock you over. And if we had a second set of waves that came slowly or came wave after wave after wave after wave, of course the more frequent set of waves is going to knock you over um, as well. Kabam, right? And so when we look at the amount of energy contained in a wave, if we have a baseline wave of like, ma, then a lower amplitude wave or a quieter sound, ha, uh, right has less energy and a higher amplitude like a raw is going to have a lot more energy so more volume has more energy and then a lower sound like raw or a higher frequency sound like raw the higher frequency also has more energy <laughs> quiz time how would these two waves compare if we were to look at them well they have the same frequency so they're going to have the same tone or the same sound. But what's the difference going to be? Well, the difference is the amplitude, right? And so that means that the top wave is going to be quieter and the bottom wave is going to be louder. Looking at these two waves, we've got a lot of differences here. So the first difference is that which one's going to be louder? 
Did you say the bottom wave's gonna be louder? Good job. And then as far as tone goes, the bottom wave is like five hertz frequency. And the top wave has a much greater frequency of 16 hertz. And so the bottom wave would be much lower, but louder. And the higher wave, the top wave would be much higher tone, but much quieter.